Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there. Hello and welcome to ILTV's Israel Daily. I'm Aaron Porras. And coming up in today's newscast, Israeli forces respond to terrorist rocket fire from Gaza over the weekend. Meanwhile, the United States is under increasing pressure to take serious action against the UNHRC following the latest publication of its so-called Commission of Inquiry against Israel. And later, thousands now out of a job as crypto markets take a nosedive. Will the industry ever bounce back? And if so, when? Months of relative calm broken as Palestinian militants in Gaza fire a missile towards civilians in southern Israel. The IDF showing a firm hand, though, and retaliating with airstrikes. Al TV's Asaf Nisan reporting. For the first time in nearly two months, Palestinian militants firing a rocket towards the southern Israeli city of Ashkelon over the weekend. Therefore, just a few hours later, the IDF firing back and hard. Further, as per policy, Israel targeting Hamas despite the source of the rocket fire being unidentified, Bennett reiterating that as Hamas is the de facto government in the Strip, the buck stops with them. At the same time, though, Israel going on to freeze the extension of some 14,000 permits for Gazan to work in Israel, as the permits are contingent on security stability. Bennett explained that his government adopting a strict zero-tolerance policy for violence in order to maintain the calm of this past year. <laughs> Now, meanwhile, in Judea and Samaria, IDF troops conducting a weapons raid in the northern West Bank terror hotbed of Janine. And according to Palestinian media, three gunmen killed and eight more injured during the raid. The IDF reporting that they arrived to look for illegal weapons when they came under fire from a suspicious vehicle and responded with live fire of their own. Then after the exchange, the army confiscating a military vest and three illegal weapons, including two M16 rifles and a Carlos-style submachine gun. Returning now to Geneva, Israeli NGO Shurat Adin acting on behalf of American families of the victims of terror and calling on the United States to withdraw from the UNHRC and make good on its promises to combat the Council's continued anti-Israel bias. Here with more is founder and president of the Shurat Adin Law Center, Nitzana Darshan Leitner. Nitzana, it is a pleasure to have you back with us. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, now you're calling the United States to uh, to hold true to its mission, you're saying that they're failing really in their mission to hold the uh, UNHRC uh, accountable and to reform the council from within. But is that enough reason to leave altogether? Listen, the uh, UN Human Rights Commission has been obsessively working against Israel. Everybody knows that including the previous administration, President Trump withdrew from its membership in this committee because they're hostile uh, agenda against Israel. You know, in every hearing that they have, this commission, they have to deal with Israel from all other countries. Israel has to be one of the subject of the matters of their discussion. This current, uh, uh, this recent report that they are coming up with, the Pillai Commission, is also against Israel with no real investigation, with coming up with uh, results that are already drafted by this commission calling Israel an apartheid state and war criminal and so on and so on. So, when the Biden administration decided to uh, undo what Trump did, which is exiting this committee, he came and promised that 
he will be able to defend Israel and its allies inside the committee rather from outside. To watch full episodes of ILTV's Israel Daily and tons of other content from Israel, visit our website at ILTV.tv or download the ILTV Plus app.